unmuting and boop. Oh wait, nope. I mean, boop. There we go. All right, so let's see. A little bit of grinding, a little bit of training. I think we might be ready to at least test ourselves against uh, right. the Opelousa gym. Uh, let's take a look at our levels for reference. Okay. Uh, summary. Okay. Edwin, level 41. Uh, HP 112, attack 99, defense 114. Special attack 62, special defense 75, speed 52. Momo, level 37, uh, HP 118, attack 67, defense 74, attack 6, uh, sorry, special attack 86, special defense 76, speed 79. Jupagier. Level 39. HP is 140. Attack 113. Defense 60. Special attack 94. Special defense 51. Speed 65. Darude the second. Level 45. HP 130. Attack 110. Defense 86. Special attack 93. Special defense 75. Speed 105. Uh, Magneto, HP 134, attack 84, defense 119, special attack 146, special defense 79, speed 78. And as our utility, we have Sora, level 33. I basically just use him for fly, but HP 76, attack 35, defense 45, Special attack 37, special defense 66, speed 41. All right. Uh, let us at least make an attempt. That is not the gym. The gym is up this way, I believe. Yep, there it is. Opelousid City Pokemon Gym, Leader Drayden, the Spartan Mayor. Now the concept behind this gym is actually pretty cool. Welcome to the Opelousid City Gym. Here's some fresh water. Stay hydrated. How do you like these dragon statues? This gym is the only place in Unova with statues this size. Climb on the dragon's head and aim for the top of the other dragon where Drayden, the gym leader, is waiting. Dragon type Pokemon are his specialty. Just between you and me, dragon types are weak to ice type moves, as well as to moves of their own type, meaning dragon. All right. Okay, so let's see. Always aim for the top like a dragon taking flight. Uh, as I recall, most of the trainers here are veterans. They tend to work with some pretty powerful Pokemon, whether by typing or just by sheer stats. Uh, Fracture. Uh, I always forget. What does Mold Breaker do? Mold Breaker ignores, uh, let's say ignore abilities. Oh. Uh, Rock Slide. Fracture use Taunt. That's not going to be a problem.
Dragon Dance. Uh oh. Alright, let's see. Uh Shadow Claw. Dragon Claw. You want a claw? I'll give you a claw. And there we go. Fractor's down. And Edwin gained a level. Level 42. Ugh, the fierce energy I feel from you. It's just like that of a soaring dragon. Trainers far stronger than I wait for you above. The ones on the right emphasize attack. The ones on the left emphasize defense. Return to the dragon's head and step on the glowing triangle. Then choose either right or left. Alright, so right side. I feel like I'm trying to pilot a mech. Go ahead and heal up Edwin a bit. Uh, where is there? It is. Let's use a Moomoo Milk. Offense is everything. All right. I don't know about everything. I would say speed has a factor. Veteran Jerry. Another fracture. Okay. Mold breaker. All right. Uh... Rock slide. Exerzer, not gonna do much. Edwin. What does Rock Blast do? Eh, not too bad for only hitting two times. Okay. All right, finished off that fracture. Uh, Drudigon. Hmm. Edwin's looking a little low, so I think I'll take the chance to switch. Let's get Magneto out. Now, Dredagon, despite having wings, is not a flying type. It is pure dragon. Yep. I don't think it even has access to any flying type moves. Okay, that's good. Magneto outspeeds it, so I was able to get the Thunder Wave off. Eh. Do flash cannon. That actually did a decent amount. Oh, it has flamethrower. I forgot they could learn that. Drodagon's down. And I think that's it for this one. Yep. Such energy on the offense. You are truly without equal. As for the trainers above me, the one on the right fights only triple battles, the one on the left fights only rotation battles. Choose the style of battle that fits you better. 
Remember, they won't even battle you if you don't have three or more Pokemon with you. I just realized, in that case, any solo uh, Pokemon runs would be impossible. Uh, actually, before I decide, hmm. I think I'm gonna want Edwin in the middle. The root on the left. And Magneto on the right. And I'm gonna wanna heal Darude and or not Darude, uh Magneto and Edwin again. I think he said the one on the right was triple battles. Yeah, I believe so. All right, let's engage. Triple battles. It's a combination that raises three Pokemon's destructive power. All right, let's see what synergy Edwin has with his teammates. Veteran Ron. Fracture, Dredagon, and Axew. Uh Okay. Fracture and Axew have Mold Breaker. I would assume the Dredagon has rough skin. Uh let's see. Let's go ahead and double rock slide. And as for Magneto, let's have a flash cannon on the Drudagon. All right. Ooh, Dragon Dance. And the axe you flinched, so... Oof. Edwin took that hit like a champ. Okay, let's see. Uh, hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. I think I'll take Darude's turn to use a super potion on Edwin. Edwin, you can just rock slide. That'll take out the Axew. And Magneto, flash cannon on the fracture. Uh, the Fracture used Taunt. That's not going to be a problem. Okay. And uh, Edwin's Rock Slide's going to finish it off. Three Pokemon you picked. They gave me a run for my money.
You are strong enough to challenge Mayor Dryden. You have the power to unleash the full force of your deep desire to win. Uh, before I do that, though, I think I'm going to try my hand at the rotation battle. All right. Hey, fun fact about this. Uh, the dragon colors are inverted in the other version. Uh, yes. I am riding on the black dragon. Drayden is on the white dragon. In the other version... Drayden is on the Black Dragon, and I am on the White Dragon. In rotation battles, how the three Pokemon follow one another is key. Alright. I'll probably switch between Edwin and, uh... <laughs> I'll probably switch between Darude and Edwin and just spam Rock Slide. Either that, or... Actually, since Darude is out front first, maybe Dragon Breath? And it paralyzed. Excellent. Oh, the Dragon Claw is going to hurt, though. Almost one-shot him. Uh, I am going to switch around to Magneto, see if he can get off a Thunder Wave. Yep. Okay. Excellent. All right. That one's pretty good. All right, uh, I'll take the opportunity to heal Darude. Uh, where's that move? Look, there it is. Oh, Dragon Dance, that's gonna be an issue. I'd better take care of it now. Uh, Charge Beam. Not very effective. I was hoping for the buff, but... Right, Magneto still has the Rocky Helmet on him. There's that Charge Beam! There we go, there's the buff. Ah, dang it. I was hoping you wouldn't do that. I can basically just have Magneto out here, keep healing him, and just have these three take themselves out. But I won't. Uh, Darude is now level 46. Nice. And Edwin is now level 43. He's sitting pretty. Ooh, Edwin wants to learn Shell Smash. That might be interesting. Uh, the whole thing about Edwin is its physical defense, though. And he doesn't have sturdy, so... I'm gonna pass. Alright, Fracture. Uh, let me take the opportunity to... Uh, heal Magneto. 
Calcium Bell. Now we have a Calcium Magnet. Here's a Moomoo Milk. Turning Calcium into a Magnet. If anybody could, like, pull that off, then, hey, props to them. I don't think Calcium is even a magnetic material anyway. Uh, Flash Cannon. Alright. And that just leaves a little Axew. Just go for uh I'll go for a mirror shot to conserve ammo on my flash cannon. Target has been determined. Moving to the next objective. Desire more vi you must desire victory more than anything. Now go. Alright. Let's take on Drayden. And that one guy on the bottom left foot, he gets the shaft. He pretty much gets thrown off. So Drayden opens with a Judagon, level 46, I believe. Alright. Uh, Force for its ability. Revenge, Crunch, Slash, and Dragon Tail. Oh, that's quite a move set. I should probably open with Magneto in that case. Target acquired. Preparing to engage. Ah, my elbow. Welcome. In challenge mode, the Drugon has a citrus berry. Its move set really only changes one bit. It has rock slide instead of slash, and it's four levels higher. Oh, fun. Welcome. Thank you for coming. I am the Opelucid Pokemon Gym Leader, Drayden. As the mayor, I've given everything to developing the city. I can see that. I like the Tron aesthetic. As a trainer, I've simply been pursuing greater strength. But what I'm searching for now is a young trainer who can show me a bright future. Perhaps you can show me that future the way Iris has? Look at that Chuck Norris beard. Like... I like that it's actually the shape of a dragon jaw. All right. Unit deployed, calculating. I 
I'm having so much fun with voice mod. I'm not even hearing your voice mod. I think it's only coming through on the screen. Oh, God damn it. Hang on. <laughs> Let me take a look at the microphone. God damn it. It was in microphone high definition audio device, not microphone voice mod virtual audio device. God damn it. Exterminate! Exterminate! Alright, let's see. Dang it, whenever I want to do a bit. Uh, let's go... Uh, flash cannon. I I caught it, but I was more focused on the fight and ooh, revenge. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Yeah, that hurt a good bit. Whatever move you chose, it fills me with the heat of battle. Uh let's do another flash cannon to finish it off. Okay. Drudagon's down. Magneto is now level 45. Wants to learn the move Screech? That is absolutely useless this late. Leader Drayden is about to send in Flygon. I think I am gonna want to switch to Momo for this one. She's a little under leveled. But if she survives a hit. Alrighty, so Flygon. Left hand for its ability, Rock Slide, Earth Power, Crunch, Dragon Tail. In Challenge mode, it's basically the same, just four levels higher. Okay. In mode, he also has an Altaria, natural cure for its ability, uh, level 50, with Cotton Guard, Fire Blast, Sting, and Dragon Pulse. Oh man, that actually hurts. I don't know if Momo can do anything significant before the Flygon takes it out. Oh, never mind, Momo, uh... Probably not. Uh, Flygon has Levitate. Well, this is awkward. Uh, Momo, sorry, you're gonna have to be the meat shield in that case, because I need to heal Magneto. Sora, you're gonna have to be the meat shield while I revive Momo. Okay, I'd say this calls for an emergency revival herb. Okay, Sora somehow avoided that uh, rock slide. That's good. Fly? Nope. Sora dead. Alright, back to Momo. Hmm. 
I'm gonna try this. Earth power, okay. Momo disables earth power. Hehe. <laughs> uh, refresh my memory. Can only one move be disabled at a time? Yes. Damn. Well. Yes. You cannot disable the whole move set. I'm sorry. Yeah. No, that makes sense. That works. That makes sense. All right. So nine levels under level. Oh my god. Actually. This would be a good opportunity. I can bring out Magneto again. I mean, Magneto can't do much, but sure. But at least the the big elephant in the room is uh, apprehended for now. Uh, flash cannon. It's not going to use Earth Power on me, so... And I'm already almost uh, done with it. Okay. And then, of course, he uses the Hyper Potion. As soon as I say that. Flash Cannon does pretty good on it, though. Rocky Helmet, Flash Cannon to finish it off. Okay. Momo is now level 38. Momo wants to learn Soak. Ooh! Ooh, 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 ooh! I'd have to go to the Move Tutor to get a better move in its place. But for this fight, I have a freaking brilliant idea. Okay. Uh. So, for right now, I am... Okay, dumb idea. I am going to get rid of Disable to teach it Soak. No, no, no. Here, here's, here's my plan. Here's my plan. Okay. Haxorus. Uh, I am going to switch to Momo. And if I get this off, we're golden. Okay, Haxorus is Mold Breaker. My blood burns with even more fire at this age. I've still got some fight in me. Okay, Momo's at about half health, but if she survives this, Momo outspeeds it. Okay. Go Haxorus. The Haxorus. The foe's Haxorus transformed into the water type because of Soak. Oh, I see your fucking plan now. That's devious. And now Magneto is dragged out. So hey. Charge Beam! So, Haxus, Mold Breaker for its ability, Secret Saver, hold on, Dragon Dance, Dragon Tail, Slash, Assurance. In Enchant Mode, it is level 52, it has Dragon Dance, Dragon Tail, Oh, come Tail, on! Dragon Dance, Dragon Tail, Axes, and Shadow Claw. This thing is scary in Challenge Mode. Alright. It's using Dragon Dance a couple of times. It's definitely something to worry about. I should probably hit it with uh, Thunder Wave. Alright. That's done. Now I just need to land the Charge Beam. I don't know why it freaking missed. Because it has 90 accuracy. Alright. This Charge Beam lands. Took okay. out two-thirds of its health. The frog needs you! Oh, uh, it's using another dragon dance. I don't know. Maybe he's already on it. Uh, 
All right. Uh, let me see. Hold on. There we go. All right. Uh, Magneto. Hi. Finish it off, I guess. Oh God, Remy, your robot. You're roboting as Skyco is making popcorn. God damn it. Target is destroyed. Extermination complete. You're fine. I doubt your popcorn is what's making Remy robot. You sure? Tango, Tango? Maybe it was the... Back, back to being broken. God damn it. Ads. Uh, the idea was there. Give me a second. Uh, there we go. Should should be sounding regular again. Uh, hold on. I was doing my ramen. Say something. Uh, tango, tango. Seems to be fixed. Yep. Okay. I guess. You really, you need to bring that microphone to like a tech place. Get it fucking troubleshooted. No, I think I think I know what went wrong this time. All right. Why? I think it was because for the bit, I was trying to uh, connect it to voice mod so that I could have, uh, so that I could do Magneto's robot voice. And I guess it just, I guess Discord just didn't like that. All right. Uh, I'm grateful that we had the chance to meet in battle. It reminded me that Pokemon battles are about working with others to meet your challenges together. All right. Uh, pew. And there we go. We get the legend badge. Well now, you've obtained seven of the gym badges in Unova. That means Pokemon up to level 80, including those received in trades, will follow your commands obediently. I also want you to have this. It's a TM I'm particularly fond of. It's called Dragon Tail. Dragon Tail is a move that returns the damaged Pokemon to its Pokeball. In other words, it switches your opponent's Pokemon. Professor Juniper asked me to tell you about some legend. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I can't say that. It's not completely useless. It has its use in competitive. That's it. Professor Juniper asked me to tell you about the legendary dragon type Pokemon that created Dunova. Please wait outside. Alright. Yo, MSO! Call. What the heck happened? There he goes. Yep. All right. MS I mean, to be fair, MSO has been quiet since the stream began, so maybe he disconnected and didn't notice. I don't fucking know. Either that, or he was just preoccupied with something. Local Key wants him, and she's threatening us with with posting stuff from her cringe folder. So... Yeah! I'd rather what? her not curse the server again. Fair enough. To be quite, to be quite honest, I wasn't even... Oh, I wasn't really looking at the, the no mic chat anyway. Let's see. <laughs> I'll show you. Michael, sending you a... Uh, an in, sending you an invite to the Digimon game. Let's see. Huh? I'll show you the way. Follow me. All right. 
I didn't even see where he goes there. <laughs> this way. Uh, before I do, I'm gonna heal. I'm gonna heal. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Don't know why I suddenly thought sweet as chef. Because you're weird like that, but don't worry, I am too. All right. I have, I have joined. All right, here we go. We're here. Okay, come inside. Thank ya. We'll work on that later. Mm. Here we go. Let me tell you the story. It's a long story, but listen closely. It was two years ago when the two dragon Pokemon were awakened. The black dragon Pokemon Zekrom pursued what is ideal, with the desire to Why? usher in an... Why is it that when you said, let me tell your story, my brain went to Fresh Prince of Bel-Air? <laughs> God damn it. Let's see. Uh, the black Pokemon... That's how you're gonna go, what? <laughs> In West Philadelphia, born and raised. In the playground was where I spent most of my days. I hate it. I hate it. All right. Now, now, now I just need, I need to see Drayden as like an old school rapper. <laughs> Dressed in neon tie-dye colors. With his baseball yes. hat. With his baseball cap at an odd angle. Yes. <laughs> uh, it's such a fucking culture clash, but uh, I love it. Let's see. Uh, the Black Dragon Pokemon, Zekrom, pursued what is ideal with the desire to usher in a new world of hope. And the White Dragon Pokemon, Reshiram, sought what is true with the desire to usher in a new world of goodness. Zekrom and Reshiram were once a single Pokemon. You may wonder why it split in two. The single dragon Pokemon had helped the twin heroes bring a new region into being. But the twin heroes, the older brother who sought the truth, and the younger brother who sought ideals, sundered the region in two as they fought to see which of them was right. In that desperate hour, the single dragon Pokemon split its body into a black Pokemon and a white Pokemon. Even though ideals and truth don't need to be in opposition. As the story goes, a third dragon Pokemon, Huron, also came into existence in that era. And there may be proof of this to be found in a treasure passed down in my family for generations. The DNA Splicers. Professor Whoa. Juniper's research determined that the materials in the Splicers date back to the same era as the materials used in building the Dragon Spiral Tower. Oh, the DNA splicers are stored very safely. I guard them because I don't know what kind of power might lie within them. But here's what's been bothering me. Could there be one more dragon Pokemon? Even if Curem really exists, we don't know what kind of Pokemon it is. For starters, the two Pokemon the ancient Pokemon split into were both overwhelmingly powerful. So if Curem exists, could it be just a husk? A shell that was left over? That was an explosion. Mm. Ah, boom! Everything's frozen. What was that sound? Ah. Rock a kaboom, baby. What was that? Airships! It's Final Fantasy. You're not the Red Wings. I, mean, I, suppose, boom, boom. I suppose this would technically be called green wings. Uh, it looks more like blue wings to me. Uh, guys? He's got a cannon named at us. Oh, shit. Get down! Freeze, motherfuckers! That's a nice cannon. Yep. It's an ice cannon, and an ice cannon! Uh, a world of ice? 
Haxorus, use Dragon Tail! That's enough, Haxorus. Not only did the ice stay unbroken, there's not even a scratch on it! What's going on? I don't think that's going to work. I remember you from End's Castle. It's bitter cold. I'm shivering. I'm suffering, but I'm alive. It's what the essence of life feels like. It's proof of my existence. But that's enough of philosophy. Here are the facts for your admiration. This ice was specially created by Team Plasma's technology. As long as we have our secret weapon, you'll never be able to melt or break this ice. Let me explain our purpose here. Drayden, hand over the DNA splices. Opelucid City is a city where the past and the future are entwined. Could there be a more perfect place for the splicers that connect the separated Pokemon? Do you think someone who knows what you did two years ago will just hand them over quietly? <laughs> That's what I thought you'd say. At this point, I'd like to threaten you with another volley of ice. But uh, we can't use it for a moment. Uh, it won't be enjoyable in this cold, but I guess we'll just search for them. Those foul villains. Silver, I want you to help me. We're going to drive Team Plasma out of Opelucid City. Okay. Woo! That old guy won't hold back even if his opponent is a young girl. I've been nursing a grudge for two years, old man. Even if this is the first time I've battled you. Okay. I lost. I didn't stand a chance. I can't believe Haxorus blasted me all the way over here. That's a pretty strong Haxorus. Dre uh. just pulls out six bulk balls. This is a job. This is a job for my personal team. You just see, you just hear people screaming in agony. <laughs> I know I just what healed, but. Personal team B, actually. No Haxorus. Intruding on. And now Flygon. Um. You probably also have a High Dragon. Probably. Otaria and. Let's say Otaria and Dragonite on top of those. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, we do see Iris with a Dragonite. All right. And he has no Toya in challenge mode, so. All right. Watch Og again. A watch Og. Yep. Negligible threat. Engaging. Uh, yeah, flash gun. <laughs> baton pass okay so baton pass is an interesting move any stat boosts that that pokemon has it switches out with another pokemon and passes those stat boosts onto them So if it has, like, uh, two attack buffs, then it takes those attack buffs and gives it to the next Pokemon that comes out. Yeah, that was kind of scary. All right, uh, back to Watch Hog.
target destroyed. Onward to the next objective. Hell is empty. Blood is fuel. <laughs> is that the kind of power Pokemon have when they're not treated like objects? Yeah, that's basically... Okay, I'm, I'm going to get this out of my system. A lot of people, I believe I've brought this up before, have compared Team Plasma to, of all things, PETA, which, yeah, it's pretty apt. At least, at least, black and white version 1, PETA. I don't know if they would say the same about version 2, or if version 2 are just straight up terrorists and they just happen to use animals. Uh, let's see. Golbat! Negligible threat. Also, he has teeth. Dispatching. Do do do. Oh. Mirror shot. Garboder. Yeah, keeping Magneto out for this one. Flash cannon. That's a lot of trash. Yep. Oh, Magneto is hit with paralysis. And Garboder took itself out with the Rocky Helmet. Magneto is now level 47. Nice. You guys remember the movie Destiny Deoxys? Uh, I do. I've caught bits of it. I've never watched it in full. I recall, did, didn't Rayquaza come out to battle Deoxys? Yes, I remember that much. Yes, it's because it's because Deoxys temporarily invaded his uh his territory up in the uh, ozone layer. So basically, uh, airspace engagement rules. Essentially. Yeah. All right. It's it. That makes things interesting. In the Pokemon world, if you want to take a rocket, you also have, you basically have your Quasar's approval. Wait, what? I said that makes it interesting because the ozone layer, the entire ozone layer is Rayquaza's territory, meaning that to pass through it and go to space, you have to get his approval. You're not wrong. Rocket launches have to worry, in that world, don't just have to worry about weather, they have to worry about, a, about an angry green snake. Alright. Hey, Momo, it's your brother. <laughs> Engaging target. No, Magneto. Wait. Target acquired. Dang it, I made the Ultra Kill joke earlier, and now I'm kind of wishing I named him V1 instead. Wait, what? 
Uh, yeah, ultra kill. Too late. He's too used to his name now. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> I just imagined every once in a while, because of how he's composed, he randomly picks up radio signals from the TV towers and whatever and he just spouts random phrases from TV shows like Tonight I dine on turtle soup No, no, it would be squirrel soup in this world Well, yeah Maybe squirrel's not the only Pokemon that can be made into soup I mean, most certainly What do you mean you're at soup? Oh my god, he picks up memes too? Oh, that's horrifying. <laughs> memes, the DNA of the soul. But you have no soul. I do now. <laughs> I have learned about it from Jazz. Don't touch that child. Alright, uh. Let that child alone. We don't need no education. We don't need no thought control. No dark sarcasm in the classroom. Teacher, leave them kids alone. Does not come here. Does not come here. <laughs> Failure is not an option. Uh, I think you need to refurbish. Hey, uh, Jubaje, on it. Prank. Percussive maintenance. <laughs> you and your percussive maintenance. Hey. If it works. I also call it the Fonzie treatment. I mean, it worked back then, but it doesn't work that much now. You'd be surprised. I, I, you know, you know how I put that in quotation marks. Let's see. If I remember right, I need to go back to Lacunosa. Uh, or do I... Uh, kill this fucking wall to get that item. That's a, that's a memory up. I will get it. Uh, actually, you know what? Uh, Sora, fly back to Opelucid. I think I'll need to talk to Drayden to get a hint think... where I'm supposed to go. I think I might know what's in that cannon, though. Does he actually say? You're getting tougher. Silver, take care of the others. Okay, so I guess I'm just missing other uh, Team Plasma members. That is not what I was going for. Don't charge on yourself. Let's have you... Revenge Flame. There we go. He... Alright. New Reflection. Alright, Team Plasma Charge. It's a Viper, so good thing I have Magneto in the lead. They can see the future. Future. When worlds collide. Look at the future. No one ever visits Frieza Planet 719. 
4019, sorry. Well, we have a. Because his crew is a planet 419. Not after its inhabitants have been miraculously repopulated. <laughs> but you just don't go back in time! Uh, wheezing. Yeah, I'm keeping Magneto out. Flash cannon. I gotta say that was a that was a pretty good joke though. <laughs> We already did that. <laughs> Come the Pokemon. Why did you do that? I have to kill you. Come the Pokemon gym. Uh oh. I do not like the sound of that. Oh, for crying out loud! I didn't expect to have the fight hampered by the cold like this. Well, no matter, the fact I'm shivering means I'm truly alive. Ice blast? Yeah. Alright, here we go, taking on Zinzalin. I lowered its speed again, that's hilarious. Cryogonal! flame! Why? Cryogonal. Cryogonal. Uh, Cryogonal! Let's see, let's start with a Thunder Wave. What is it, a Cryo Diagonal? Oh, it's supposed to be uh, Cryo because Ice and Hexagonal because um, Snowflakes are based on a Hexagonal pattern. No. Error, error, hello world. I'm sorry, Dave, I can't let you do that. Oops, nope, didn't mean to click run. Uh... Okay, good charge beam. Not gonna, not gonna do much damage right now, but the special attack boost is appreciated. Flash cannon. Recalibrating, recalibrating, recalibrating. Another cryogonal. How many cryogonals does this person have? He has three Pokemon, so I. We don't even have those! <laughs> Charge Bean again. Light screen. We don't even have all. There we go. Magneto snapped out of its uh, confusion. Recalibration complete. Applying Fleming left hand rule. Applying Fleming right hand rule. Error. Error. Recalibrating. 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 <laughs> as soon as you said that, Magneto snapped out of his confusion. <laughs> perfect. Absolutely perfect. Alright. 
Uh, Repping calcium intake. Deploying repair functions. Cannon. Engage cryogonal motherfucker. Oh, confused, Ray. Not confused. <laughs> Malware has been detected. Would you like to? Subscribe to the full version of McAfee. And Magneto hit himself. Oh no, and Magneto's frozen now. Uh, do I have any berries? I have error, raw. Error, error, four, error 404 detected. Let's see. I have a rust berry. That's only good for burns. I'm going to have to use. Uh, I have the Castelia cones. I might as well use them. Give an ice cream to cure ice. Logic does not compute. Disregard. Engage. I was gonna, I was gonna say a not anonymous anti malware mouse program. <laughs> we don't even have balls. Sorry, that's just still echoing in my brain. You fool! I have downloaded the full version of Seven Zip and WinRAR. I cannot be defeated so easily. Uh, Weavile. Ooh. I'm gonna switch over to... Oops, I'm not going anywhere. Might I'm... not get a workout in. <laughs> I'm gonna switch over to Jubagier. Is that his foot? Understood. Unit Magneto, retreat and repair. All right. Uh, arm thrust. Arm thrust is quad effective, being that Weavile is both ice and dark. Have you gotten even stronger than you were in Lacanosa Town? How in such a brief amount of time? I worked out all day yesterday. Huh, you're a strong trainer. You definitely are adept at handling Pokemon. I believe I'll take my leave simply because I can't stand this cold. But imagine this, a Unova region completely covered in ice. To achieve that splendor, we'll do whatever it takes to obtain the DNA splicers. Uh, you're even better than I hoped. Oh. Thanks to you, we drove them off. I'm grateful to your Pokemon, also. I need to bring this up. Yep. I adore how the, like, the dark portion of the Splinter Team Plasma, at this point, they don't care. They want to rule Unova. And have taken a, if we can't have it, then nobody can, uh, mon like, mantra. Yeah. They, they threaten complete, the threatening complete annihilation of Unova region unless everyone cows to them. Yep. 
Uh, after all that, the least I can do is heal them with this medicine. Wait here a moment. I'll be right back. Huh. Well, that's a new record for making it there and back. Look, Silver. These are the DNA splicers. Ah. This is what they were after. We're really fortunate Team Plasma didn't get their hands on them. I don't know what their goal is, but I'm sure they're planning something wicked. As we suspected, the hiding place was in the gym. Well thought out. If Drayden isn't there, we can't get in. If he is there, he's the strongest guard we could possibly face. It also explains why the Pokemon gym was remodeled. Whatever. The DNA splicers are in our hands now. Checks my pocket. You son of a bitch! It's beyond my imagination to think you'd use... <laughs> it's beyond my imagination to think you'd use one of the seven sages to find out where the splicers were. Now you know, then. We will accomplish our goals, no matter what the cost. We don't have the ability to captivate the hearts of others like Lord N does. Instead, we will bend people to our will with brute force. Two years was a surprisingly long wait. If they've been stolen from us, we'll just have to take them back! Alright, uh... And with the DNA splice is gone, it's time to announce our next sex play, Pokemon Infinite Fusion! <laughs> No. I mean, I I do want to do that sometime in the near future. Probably not immediately after I'm done with this and Super Metroid. I'm probably going to at least play a couple of um, other games first. Yeah. Alright, uh... <laughs> You don't really think you can take the DNA splicers back, do you? Alright, Team Plasma Shadow. Sent out a Pawnyard. Assessing threat level. Negligible. Task is suitable for other co-worker, Jubagier. All right, let's rock this, Caspar. Ponyard used Scary Face. That's going to lower his speed. His speed wasn't that great to begin with, so. Arm thrust. Ponyard's down. Jubage is now level 40. And Magneto gained a little experience as well. Absol! I think I'm keeping Jubage out for this one. Arm thrust. Oh, nope. Never mind. Jubage is down. Switching back to Magneto. <laughs> so much for the threat level was negligible. <laughs> so much for the threat level being negligible. It was in reference to the Ponyard, to be fair, not the Absol. Alright, uh... Revival Herb on Jubage. Ugh, that Ginseng! Good for digestion! Bad for your back. Oh man, that hurt. Lance is being a vocal baby. 
Uh. They talked over him so you couldn't hear him. Sorry, was kind of focusing on the fight. All right. Applying Fleming left hand rule. Applying Fleming right hand rule. Deploying charge beam. Target was not hit. Recalibrating. Feedback detected. Deploying. Fire. Trying to be cool with Magneto and both times he shit the bed. <laughs> Uh, switching to Jubaje again. Ah, I heard the news. We are being very loud. We are being blessed with a noisy boy. I hate to admit it, but you're a good trainer. Give me a second. Ah, uh, how unlucky. I don't happen to be the one holding the DNA splicers. I was just buying time for the others to escape. Cheerio, bye bye, whatever. Oh no! Oh no! No, no, it's not your fault, Silver. You were impressive. It's me who's let everybody down. The Silver! Boy has been fed. A strange ship was flying toward Opelucid City, right? I saw it too. I'm en route. Charon, that's Team Plasma's ship, wasn't it? Yes, no doubt about it. Anyway, I'll be arriving in just a moment. Okay, I'll leave things to you. Silver, if you run into any trouble, call me. Ugh. If there were only two of me, then I could protect the town and chase after them too. Silver, Drayden, glad to see you're safe as well. Hello, Charon. You have certainly grown. I hear you filled in for Lenora by becoming the gym leader in Aspertia City. Thanks. We should save catching up for later. I have a good idea of where Team Plasma's hiding. The place with the lowest temperature in the Unova region right now is an area close to Himulav City. Drayden, please protect Opelucid City. Ruby and I will find Team Plasma. Very well. I'll do my part. And thanks. The chase I'll leave to you, but don't do anything reckless. Silver, I could use your help if you're willing. You're a skilled trainer who can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Team Plasma. That's my definition of useful. Raiden, we're off. Umalao City, huh? Is there anything to the north of Undella Town? Silver, protect Pokemon from Team Plasma. All people should think for themselves about the nature of the relationship between people and Pokemon. It's not something Team Plasma gets to decide for everyone. Alright. Uh, back to the Pokemon Center to heal. Let's see. Uh, 
Uh... Right. Sliding ice puzzles. Oh, right. I never did fight this breeder. I think I just straight up passed by her. Pokemon Breeder Magnolia. Emolga. No. Menace detected. Threat level apocalyptic. Exterminate. 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 Target is not dead. Firing again. Target eliminated. Scanning. Scan found. Altaria. Engaging. Uh, let's start with a Thunder Wave. Breeder Magnolia, I guess that's what she was doing prior to being a professor. I forgot. I forgot about Professor Magnolia. Right Alright. Target has been eliminated. Onward to the next objective. Uh, let's see. Bicycle. Back to Lacunosa Town, I guess. Do, 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 do. And then on our way to Undela. Oh, right. I need to, uh, I need to grab Lance. Because people pay too much attention to that ditzy bimbo Sonia, so they forget about the absolute drop dead goddess that is her grandma. <laughs> Do you have a thing for, uh, what do they call them? Silver Foxes. MSO. Silver Foxes, uh, Silver Foxes is a term for men. Oh, it's specifically men. Oh. I thought it was just older people in general. I've only, well, I've only ever heard it referred to, used to refer to men. But regardless, MSO seems to like it wrinkling. <laughs> Not, not wrinkly, ripe. Uh, right, I'm gonna have to switch Sora out with, uh, Lance. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> Silver can have his robots and Kojin can have his muscle mommies. I'll take grandma's kisses any day. You know what? Fair. And I do hear they make good cookies. go down along this way. Oh! Now that I think about it. Blue flute! <laughs> I hear they make good cookies. See, that's why I prefer older women. Proceeds to use them for slave labor a la cookie clicker. <laughs> he just, man. That went dark. Just a bit. Emma so he doesn't know any other kind of humor. All right, take it easy, MSO. All right, uh, let's see, into Town. X transceiver is ringing. Silver, where are you? Undella Town? Got it. From there, go to the Marine Tube and come straight to Humalau City. Marine Tube? Ah, so this thing. I moved here just to be the first person to go through the Marine Tube. Well, too bad, because I am! Not! Marine tube. It's an undersea tunnel, so to speak. Do you know how such tunnels are made? It's quite simple. They're built on land and then sunk into the sea. Without Pokemon, the construction would have been impossible. Ooh, this is cool. This is what the undersea world looks like. I've never seen this before because I can't swim. I've given up on seeing this. I'm so moved. Rain Dance is a move to use with a feeling of yearning. As for when to use it, uh, what's wrong with me? I can't think of any gripping ideas. With a condition like this, I can't explain well on TV. Wow, it's an ocean trench. So deep, maybe six miles deep? That's right, it's deep. Love is infinitely deep. Okay, lovebirds. Does your Pokemon have a poison barb? This place is like a walk through aquarium, but this is isn't this a place for Pokemon to see us? Alright. Path this the path is to see rather than to move. My parasol is full of TMs. Would you like one? F facade. Okay. Facade, facade. When the user's poisoned, paralyzed, or burned, its attack power doubles. Humalau City. Okay. Hey, Ruby. We'll get the DNA splicers back for sure. So you should focus on defeating the gym leader first. Okay. Uh. Actually, we should probably focus on getting our levels up. Uh. I think Magneto's at an all right level to take it on. He's pretty much the star. He's pretty much going to be the star of the show of this gym anyway. It's level 38, dear. I can slap a... I can slap the experience share on her. Waylord Watcher? Oh, I guess is that for going through the, the tube? That is... You got incredibly lucky. You Did you not notice the Waylord passing overhead? I did not. 
You got a 5%, I think it's like a 5% chance that you didn't fucking notice? No. <laughs> There's my bullshit luck again. Even, even Chugga had to grind for that one. Uh, let's see. How are my Pokemon looking? They're in pretty good shape. Uh, that's what I was going to do. I was going to put the experience share on Momo. There it is. Uh, give to Momo. Okay. And I guess... I can give the luck incense to Magneto, since I'm not expecting the Rocky Helmet to be of much use here. Two gyms in one stream. Let's go. I actually have, I actually have one more thing that I can say for why you should go on to the next route before this. Because there's an encounter that you probably want to get. It's Tarakian. Ah, Tarakian on this route? Yeah, on the following, on the next route. And Ooh. you might as well take that one down so you can I guess I do that route next. I guess oh, I yeah. need... No, you actually had to go this, end, this way anyways. I was about to say, yeah. You really would have been there. Yeah. Sup? You must be here to challenge the Pokemon Gym. I'm the gym leader, Marlin. Sorry to make it look for me, yo. I was swimming with the Pokemon. It felt real good, so I kept going and going. <laughs> I'll be waiting in the gym, okay? He seems a cool guy. Yeah. Oh, looks like I was right. We had to go up this way anyways because Marlin wouldn't have been there. Yep. Uh. Heart scale? It's okay. to your navigator. Let's see, did to do this way. Especially when your navigator has replayed this game several fucking times. There we go, Route 22. Uh... There it is. Amoongus. Flash cannon. Unfunny meme detected. Exterminating. Upon further inspection, the meme was not only unfunny, but also overused. Exterminating. <laughs> Memes are funny, but overused. So like in the jokes. I would have said Kojins. MSO at least has some variety. Scanning target. Disadvantage detected. Retreating. Okay. Idea. If we're gonna be training out this way, we, then let's put uh, Zubaje into the lead because he's pretty low level. Like, he's your second lowest level Pokemon, so. Oof, Drain Punch. Alright, confusion. Y you agree with me on that being a smart idea, right? Uh. It would make sense, yeah. Give me a sec and let me double check. Yeah, because I, I think he's like level 40, so he's pretty behind. Uh. So, so is Eddie, but Eddie at least has the bulk to take on the like, higher level opponents. Yeah. Hmm. Drew's got like HP, but that's really about it for his bulk. 
I'll switch Zhu out front since he needs some levels as well. Yeah. And this is the darker grass, so probably... Nope, okay. Um... By the way, I'm gonna have to switch to Magneto! <laughs> uh, I am sensing a pattern here. That, that is the second time you put a person to me who needs the experience, and then your first encounter is like, ha ha! Not only that, at your suggestion. I may guide you. I that doesn't mean I'm the one popping your tires. That's the rocks in the world that I can't see. Interesting metaphor. We'll go with that. I mean, I I am the navigator. Like I said, interesting metaphor. We'll go with that. What would you? What would you rather? I make a ship joke. Nope. Like with, when when you have a like when you say navigator, you think of two things. You think of cars. You think of boats. Yeah. Heat crash. And you don't have a boating license, as far as I know. So I went with the car analogy because I know you'd get that. Fair enough. Pee, pee up! I can get more heat crashes. Okay, you know what? Even at type disadvantage, I guess I wouldn't expect it to have too many damaging water type moves, so... Zen headbutt, though! Yeah, I might have to just switch to Magneto for this one. Hmm? Oh, you're muted. Okay. I didn't even see when you muted. All right, let's see. Uh, charge beam. Route 13? What for? That's where Psychic is. Okay. I think I... I don't know why I didn't mention it. I think I was angry with you that night. Yeah, yeah, it just requires strength to get it. It's in the southwestern corner of the route. Huh. So, after this battle, let's fly back there, get the TM, and finally teach it to Momo. Alright. Uh, I know she needs the move. Yeah, confusion's only doing so much. Confusion was great, but she definitely needs the upgrade now. Oof! Force palm. Uh, Castilia count for that. Watch it use Force Palm and paralyze Momo again.
Okay, well, it used Force Palm, but didn't paralyze Momo, so that's something. Quack! Okay. Ooh, critical hit on a drain punch. Momo drink the moo-moo. Momo drink the moo-moo wearing a moo-moo. Momo, eat a Momo, drink a Momo, wearing a Mumu. Why am I a dork? Why am I like this? Fusion. Jump kick, Momo's down. Screw it, run. I was gonna get experience, but now that thing's just gotten on my nerves. All right, uh, Route 13, you said, yeah? I need to get back to town because uh, I traded out Sora for Lance so that I could use Cut. Shut up and battle with me. Or you could finally teach the rude fly. Yeah, no. With his current moveset? Not doing that. We're very close to getting Weavile anyways. He doesn't need Cut. I'm going to play it safe and keep it on him until we get that Weavile. Okay. All right, nose pass. Ooh, critical hit on that one. And finish it off with another critical hit. Ooh, nice job, Ju. Nice job, Pixie. Hiker Justin is about to send in Steelix. Ooh. Uh, it's Steel Ground, right? Yeah, that, that checks. Because I fell for the trap and thought it was Steel Rock again, so I used Arm Thrust on it. Flame Charge. There we go, that did more damage. And it was a, and it was a crit. Uh-oh, dig. Um, Lance, sorry, you're gonna have to be the uh, meat shield here. Or you could send out Darude who's immune to ground. Right, because he has levitate. Lance just pulls out a megaphone. I mean, Lance is literally staring out the window at this jackass. Uh, 
<sighs> there we go. Steelix is down. Something actually occurred to me. You never use Crunch anyways. Not unless Eddie's down. Well, now that Eddie has Shadow Claw. But I mean, for the most part, I haven't had any much reason to use Darude in general. There we go. That boulder is done. I can still hear that jackass's fucking radio. He's like a he's like a ways away, and I still fucking hear him. Ooh, found a protein. Unfortunately, you just you don't have shit like that. Unfortunately. Yeah, it's it's one of those things you just gotta deal. I do deal as best as I can. It's just annoying that it happens. Yeah. All right. Uh, gonna gonna heal my Pokemon. Switch out Lance with uh, Sora. Oh, Metal Man's here. Let me guess. The you got your ass kicked, Metal. How much your Pokemon faint? Well, let's see. I would laugh. That's actually a medal. If you actually have to let your Pokemon get the shit kicked out of them. Easy cycling. Nope, that's bicycle. Uh. Someone's PC. Let's move. Uh, there's Sora. Trade about with Lance. Alright, Route 13, you said. Yep. Go to... Ba really, we could just go back to the fucking tunnel. Because that, that's Undela Town. It's faster. Okay, let's see. Route 13 is that way, so... And besides, I already saw that Waylord. Apparently. I didn't. I didn't. I was looking away at the time. If you were looking away at the time, how did you know I didn't see it? Because it... Because you only get that fucking medal if you did. And I got the medal, so... Fun fact, and this is a little bit off topic. Uh, do you guys know that Tales of Arise is getting an, exp an expansion? Found a zinc. Did not? I literally just found out about it today. When I, I did my library. I never did play any of the Tales of games. I need to do that. A good starter would probably be Symphonia. Symphonia? I've heard I've heard Symphonia mentioned a lot. There's Symphonia. My fir my first Tales game actually was Zillia. Uh, Arise is actually pretty good too. Oh damn! Jubage finally got the full five hits on uh, Arm Thrust and took out an Audino. What was the purpose of it? I don't know. <laughs> I swear, I think ever since we've gotten to know each other, I think I've made forest blood pressure rise like double digits. Wait, with what? I'm sorry, I, I zoned out. Nothing. Guy, what did he say? <laughs> <laughs> I shall say nothing. Remington AMP! <laughs> <laughs> it's of me. <laughs> there we go. You do know that I could just check the VOD and then get angry at you, right? Yeah. 
Who's to say that's not the fun part? <laughs> See, he gets it. Remy's not a masochist, though. Look, I promise I won't get mad if you just tell me. All I right. Promise. You promise I will hold you to that. I was joking about how ever since we met, some of the things I've done has caused you to write make your blood pressure go up. I mean, yeah. Because I'm dealing with a lucky idiot here. Like, that's not even something that makes me mad. That's just you, that's just you admitting that you're a lucky idiot. Eh, the best laid plans of mice and men. I mean, it's one of those things where it feels like, you know, if they hear you on it, fine, but if they don't hear you on it, even better. Hi, Bob. I'm gonna go ahead and play a game I haven't played in a while. Uh, Jubarger, level 42. Okay, uh, where am I supposed to look for a psychic? Waka waka. Waka waka. Alright, so it is in the south. I'll check this again. South western corner of the route requires strength. So it's past the strength boat in the southwestern corner of the route. Southwestern corner of the route. Okay, so. I think you actually were on the right path and you just didn't go all the way. Yeah, no, this one, this one was just a dead end. Okay, check it, your inventory. Uh. Check your TM list. I'm going wrong to one. laugh and I'm going to both laugh and scream at you if you already fucking have it. I don't remember picking it up, so. I do not have it. Okay, I must be looking at the wrong thing then. Yeah, no, that's black too, white too. Here we go. Near Fisherman Vince requires surf. Requires surf, and it's near the fisherman. Okay. It's near the fisherman, and it requires surf. Um, that's the two fishermen uh, up here on this narrow strait, right? Vince. Uh, whichever one's name is Vince, because it says near Fisherman Vince. It does not say their name, so. Well, we just got to check near every fisherman. Good thing Momo knows surf. It's probably like on the on some kind of like Wait. sandbar if you can find one. There it is. There we go. Let's teach it to Momo right away. Yep. Uh, can gods know she needs it. Confusion was good, but too boy. There it is. This is going to be significantly better. Like, more than double, like, about double the damage that Confusion does. Yep. So we've almost got Momo's farm moveset. All we need now is Ice Beam, and then she should be set. Yep. Uh... Okay, I guess I'll go ahead and, uh... Fly back to. Daru. Hmm? Yeah, Daru just needs fly. I feel like we have Eddie's final move set. Like, I can't see us dropping anything. Alright. Uh. Stopping off at Humalau City, and that is where we are going to call it, I guess, because we are at time. Aside from Thunderbolt, do you think we're gonna be getting Magneto anything more? Um. If we even if we even can teach him Thunderbolt, that is. Good question.
Uh, refresh my memory. Where would be a good place to? Let's see. I think I think I remember some of the TMs that I was looking for uh, being in the shopping mall on Route Nine. Ice beam. I'm pretty sure is in the giant chasm or near there. So we. So we're gonna be going there anyways for the story. All right. So. Uh, let's take a look at the stats before we sign off for the day. Let's see. Okay. Or, or we could get him discharged instead of Thunderbolt. It's slightly less powerful, but we'll still get the job done. Yeah. Let's see. Uh. Embor. Yeah, no, let's, go, do, do, do. let's go with discharge because Thunderbolt's in victory road. We'll see how it goes. Uh, let's see. Jubage, level 42, HP 150, attack 122, defense 65, special attack 102, special defense 54, speed 69. Uh, nice. Edwin, level 43, uh, HP 117, attack 105, defense 120, Special attack 65, special defense 78, speed 54. Darude the second, level 46. HP 132. Attack 114, defense 87, special attack 94, special defense 76, speed 108. Oh, you weren't even at the. Oh, I just noticed what MSO said in. in no, my chat. He said he wasn't even at the computer. That's what I was saying. He was preoccupied. Well. People walk away from the computer sometimes, you know? It happens. Well, he didn't <laughs> bloody tell us. I mean, sometimes I've done it, and I have a bad habit of not saying, so. You have a bad habit of not saying. I've done it myself. Home, though. Let's see. Uh, MSO's a lot chattier. Like, MSO's a lot chattier than you just in general. You're not a very... You're not a very vocal person. Let's see. And you yourself have even admitted that you are not a very vocal person when it comes to really anything. Let's see. Uh, Momo, level 39. HP, 125. Attack, 71. Defense, 78. Special attack, 91. Special defense, 80. Speed, 83. Magneto, who's probably going to be the big star in this upcoming gem. HP, 149. Attack, 96. Defense, 132. Special attack, 163. Special defense, 89. Speed, 87. And Sora, just because. Yeah, same stats as the beginning of the stream. All right. We are actually doing pretty good. Don't drink that. All right. Uh, let's see. Who can we raid and what can we raid with? Uh. Pink Kitty streaming right now. Why is it not? All right, let's see. Uh, let's go ahead and raid Zazferens, who is currently, actually, wait, no. Let's go ahead and raid Uncle Silver, since we were talking about him the other day. Who is currently playing some F-099.
and we are gonna raid with uh, Magnazone V1. Uh, let's see. Um, later on today, uh, Sky, were you planning on doing any um, Nuzlocke stream? Uh, I was planning on doing some kind of stream tonight, but we could do, we could do Nuzlocke if that, if that. If I mean, got it. I mean, I, mean, I only did. I only did like an hour and a half yesterday, or like an actually no, it was just an hour yesterday. Yeah. So. All right, cause uh, if you are, then my Metroid stream will probably be after that. All right. I'll pro I'll probably we'll probably do Nuzlocke later then. Later? Yeah. All right. Or where you want? Or were you thinking about doing that like literally right after this? <laughs> uh, my streaming time is usually at like six thirty, so. Yeah, you you usually start one like right like right after I start mine usually. Yeah, because my normal evening stream is six thirty, but it's after yours. So, anyway. Uh, let's go ahead and raid. 